What is right file in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.401.3. Now, before we start creating a job that uses right file, let's take a look at the documentation for right file. What right file does is it gives us the ability to write content to a named file in the current directory. And from a current directory, that means a directory within the workspace. So we'll pass in the name of the file that we want it to be. It will be the relative path within the workspace. We'll pass in the text and optionally, we can pass in encoding. So let's go ahead and go over to our controller, create a new job. We'll call it write file, click pipeline and click okay. We'll go down into the job. Let's go ahead and use hello world as a starting point. For my first stage, I'm going to go ahead and clear out my workspace. So I'm going to say clean WS and the step will actually also be clean WS. Now for the next stage, we want to go ahead and write out the file. So I'm going to say stage, write file, steps, and then let's use the pipeline syntax section to go ahead and generate the snippet that we need. We'll go down to write file, select that. The name of the file that we want to have in our case is just going to be output.txt. And the text that we want to write out to the file is going to be line one, I'm going to go down line two and one more line three and click on generate pipeline script. Now you'll notice here that the text is wrapped in triple single quotes so that we can handle those carriage returns and line feeds within the body of the text. So let's go ahead and copy this. Let's go back over to our job and let's paste that in into the steps block. Now I'm going to go ahead and just leave the wrapping here with these extra carriage return line feeds. So we can see what happens when we take a look at this file. Now to make sure that the file is actually written out correctly, we'll create one more stage and we'll call it output. We'll type steps and then within steps, we'll do an sh cat output.txt. So we're gonna clean the workspace. We're gonna write a file with multiple lines. And then for the third stage, we're just going to cat out the file that we created in the second stage. Let's go ahead and click on save and click on build now. If we take a look at the output of build one, we see our clean workspace. Then we move into the next stage where the write file happens. And then once we're in the third stage, we cat the output text and we see our line one, line two, and line three with the carriage return line feeds held intact. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.